Okay, so I've been requested by 23SFRB wants to know how to make a good video on YouTube and how do you essentially make videos. Well, very simple and quite easy to do, really. So, so all you really need is your computer and a camcorder that it's integrated into your computer so that way you can plug it in and retrieve your files. So, you generally record your video like I'm doing right now and then when I end the video I stop it and I get a file. It depends on what camera you're using. I'm, right, I'm using my Sony T70 series camera and the files are here but there's only one problem with, with these files. These are in MPG format and it's since I cut and make edit videos on Movie Maker, MPG format doesn't uh, comply with uh, Movie Maker. So what I do is I I download this program called Xylosoft Video Converter 3. And what it does is that since I have the unlicensed, uh, unregistered um, copy, it encodes from any format to WMV files, and but the only problem is it has to be under five minutes. Over five minutes, it won't get accepted. So that's okay. So once I have five, four, five minutes, I cut off the video and put it back on. And it's very simple. So I'll show you how I edit videos onto on Movie Maker. So I'll get my theme video 14. And one thing I hate about Movie Maker is that it freezes a lot, which sucks. Okay, so here is my Tarantula Feeding Video 14. It's raw format. I import videos and make a storyboard of it. So for Brachybomb wants to know how, how to edit videos. So if you have Movie Maker, and... Um, so you go to this part. Alright, tap. And so this uh, icon on the left appears here. This is your trim line. So let's say, for example, Apenikinius gigas, the orange, well, kind of brown tree spider. So if I don't like that, what I can do is I could just cut it off. This is you right here. So, if you go here, it's the same thing, same video, but cut off. So, all I do is that I go here, and delete, and gone. And that's how you edit. So, that's why most of my tarantulas will eat right away, because I edit the parts, so that way it will make the video less boring and much more shorter. So, once you put all your video, you go to save save onto your computer. You create a file name. I, cre I said Tarantula 14 view 14. So you just let it save. Then once you have your file, then you go to YouTube's website. You go to upload. Upload video file. Worry about uploading. So you write your title, the description, your category, your tags. If you want to become really popular, you should be adding a lot of tags to your videos, so that way it'll become easier access to people who want to view it. And for video category, you have to put something relevant. Um, let's say for tarantulas, you would put pets and animals. Say if I put tarantula videos and I put auto and vehicles apartment, that's spamming and that can get flagged. So then you, all you do is just go upload a video. Oh, okay, so let me say, let me write something here. TF. Something like that. So all you do is go upload a video. And for non-YouTube partners, all you do is just browse your 
browser video. So you go to Tarantula uh, Video 14, whatever which one you want, whatever you named your file. And then you go open like that and you upload video. That's pretty much it. And here, this revenue sharing only appears when you're a partner. So you want to state your reasons that you own the video content of this video. So, of course, for my feeding videos, I say, my tarantula, my video of my tarantula is eating. That's pretty much how I enable revenue sharing on my tarantula feeding videos. And uh, game reviews, I don't even bother revenue sharing because these are copyright. But if you want to become a partner, don't bother uploading music videos, um, any form of... Uh, TV show, music videos, concerts, commercials without permission. Unless you own the video. And uh, practically that's about it guys. So hope this helps um, you and to uploading a video onto YouTube.